Hi, I'm Sonia and Georgia Empress. Don't try and force the crown to fit. Might belong to a different king or queen and know that it can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. So only take what res resonates and leave the rest to someone else and know that it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing this with. This is a reading for Aquarius. Welcome Aquarius. I was just doing a reading half of the part way through three cards through and then I ended up realizing it's not recording so you could be kind of like talking to yourself oh anyway let's see this is a reading for Aquarius happiness and joy this is the sun card this is Leo energy so it looks like somebody's feeling quite happy quite content we have happiness and joy this is all your cups being filled the home the family the children Somebody is feeling quite happy here and also very swift moving. This is actually messages coming in swiftly. Things actually starting to take off. The challenge here is somebody would like to have this happily ever after and also wanting have to have stability. This is generational wealth. This is some sort of partnership which is actually very, very good. And someone is feeling obsessive. Someone is actually feeling a little bit kind of... um. They could be having some bad habits, some sort of addictions. Maybe they're just feeling a little bit obsessed. Somebody here is a wounded warrior. Somebody is feeling disappointed. This is also Capricorn. Someone here is feeling a little bit like a wounded warrior. And they're feeling obsessed and also kind of like um, codependency, bad habits going over a situation over and over. In the distant past, it looks like you've done a lot of healing. This is rest and recovery here. And also, we have the lover's card. So there is some kind of situation where you've healed. And also, you've had choices in love. It could be that you needed to make some decisions over a love situation. It could have been some sort of love-hate situation. Or it could have been that you had choices, really. And also, the page of cups. So this could have been somebody that was a friendship. You felt like a sort of like a soulmate connection. It looks like you had a lot of caring for this person. Somebody that could have been even Gemini energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio even. But the recent past, it looks like you've been working very hard. Co fo focusing on your work. Really trying to put the effort in. And also you're, you're hoping for some kind of financial stability. Because this is also the... So Page of Pentacles, this is actually some sort of financially stable, some sort of new job, something here. Could have been a new business where you just started and you're putting the work in here. We also have the King of Swords. So somebody very that's speaking their truth, somebody very logical and also financially stable because we have this Page of Pentacles. So this is some sort of messages here. Somebody coming in to speak the truth here. And also we have... Libra Gemini Aquarius energy intelligent logical very good communication somebody here has come wanted to maybe work together work together with somebody could have been starting some sort of business together with someone or someone that worked very hard as well so this is your future or how your thoughts you're thinking about the future possibly because you wanted to take a leap of faith this is a new beginning here somebody's ready to take a leap of faith but someone's still stuck in a karmic cycle. Somebody here needs to take the blindfold off and cut themselves free because this is someone staying in a self-imposed prison. Someone's ready to take a leap of faith, but they're stuck in a situation. Somebody here is ready for celebrations and good times. Maybe they've got some sort of habits that they need to cut themselves free from, like, you know, a lot of partying or something. Looks like someone is ready to take a leap of faith, get out of some sort of self-imposed prison, and they would like some celebrations. So this is the future here. The future is a new cycle. This is the start of a new cycle here. This is actually, you maybe you've been juggling a lot, but you're ready for a, some sort of new beginning, a new cycle. You're kind of like, maybe needing to juggle a few different things, being busy. Maybe you're being indecisive about a new cycle and you need to make a decision, but also the, the judgment card as well is meaning that you've got some kind of... Um, um, looks like you've got some kind of judgment. Someone's judging you or you're judging someone else or it could be that someone's seeing the truth of things. Somebody is maybe wanting to rebuild, rebuild and seeing, wanting to kind of like have a new beginning. 
they were seeing the truth of things. You're seeing things. They would like to come in and have a union to have a reunion and rebuild. It's like spirit as well. It's like rewards coming in for good work. So, uh, your fears. You're fearing some sort of good news. You've kind of got fears about some sort of news coming in. Some sort of passion. Maybe this is actually... you got fears about someone taking too long. Very slow moving. Messages of about passion coming in. But this is actually you're manifesting. You're manifesting. And your ships are coming in here. You got fears about some sort of manifestations coming in. You got fears about some sort of passion. But also this is somebody very slow moving. Maybe this is actually needing to take your time. Not being in a hurry. And not kind of like. Just making sure you've got things in order. Making sure that. Um. You've got everything, kind of all your ducks in a row. Because this is also somebody very slow moving. Who's methodical, grounded and also dependable. So it looks like you're going to be building some sort of amazing wealth. This is some sort of partnership which is actually financially stable as well. But it seems like you've got some sort of fears around this as well. But it looks like your ships are coming in here. So try not to fear. So other people see you as... Got having a lot of options, you need to make a decision which cup do you really want because looking at this, you have fame and fortune. This is some sort of soulmate connection. Maybe you're not trusting your intuition because we have the high priestess, so maybe you need to trust your intuition to do with someone. Other people see you as have, having fame and fortune, but need to make some decisions about what cup you choose. Which there's so many options getting out of your head, out of illusions and. De and delusions and also trusting your intuition so you become very intuitive other people are looking up to you and seeing what what you're doing they're quite amazed your hopes you're hoping for some sort of swift movement you're hoping for things to move faster it looks like we have we're going from the eight to the seven so this is actually like you've got some kind of being a little bit wanting things to move swiftly but you're very Defensive as well. Defensive because you've had some sort of disappointments. Maybe you're hoping to overcome some sort of rejection. You're hoping for things to move faster. You're feeling actually a little bit defensive because of the rejection you've dealt with. And it looks like that things are starting to move quickly. The outcome here is you're walking away. You're walking away from a third party, you're walking away from um, disappointment, from heartbreak. Third party could be anything, anything that's not serving, something that's in the way of a connection. So you're walking away from things that aren't serving, things that aren't really um, prioritizing you. Walking away from situations where you aren't being valued, you're starting to move forward. You're moving forward swiftly, you're looking forward to the future, you're taking charge, you're actually going for it. And then you're coming, you're becoming financially stable. You're walking away from something, any kind of things that are not serving, and it looks like you're going towards a masculine energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, someone who would like to be a sweetie, knight in shining armor, swoopy off your feet. But it looks like you have to move away from whatever is not serving first, and that's when you're coming towards this boss energy, somebody who is financially stable, somebody who is dependable and kind of quite loving and caring, knight in shining armor. You have to take charge and move forward from a third party situation, whatever that is. Could be anything. So you're moving forward and you're actually bossing up, it looks like, yourself. Or you're coming towards someone who's like a boss energy. Someone who's mature, someone who's grounded and dependable. And somebody who would like to be a knight in shining armor. So very cool. That's good. I'm going to do some romance oracles. We have heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other and make the effort. Lo great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Look at that little cute little one there. Passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And some hidden truth oracle. I lost myself for a little while. You don't know how hard it was to let you go, and I love you. And also, I know I was a distraction from your pain. Alright, that's all. Bye!